Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Good morning. This is my old Epson Artisan 700 printer. Um, I have several of them. I use them quite a lot. And what happens is sometimes the print heads, uh, they, they clog up on me. And when your printer clogs up on you, your print head, there's generally two things you can do. But I found a third thing you can do that will fix a lot of printers that most people would throw away. The first thing I think everybody does when, when they have a printer that stops working is they use the, uh, the program that will flush the print heads, it's the cleaning. And this works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It's like the old couple hundred years ago the doctors they did, we put the, <laughs> they would bleed you to see if it worked. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but usually it just makes a mess. The second thing is you can commercial, you can buy commercial uh, bottles of uh, print head cleaner and then you can take a syringe and you can try to flush the cleaner down into your printhead ports and you don't get a lot of liquid in, in the bottles so, uh, I can give you a recipe how you can make your own I started making my own it's like ten dollars for a little bottle and when you're you're putting it into the, the, the port heads the, the print heads the, the ports it squirts out and you don't know if it's working or not and then you wait for an hour sometimes wait overnight you try next day sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's very frustrating. What I started doing is something I haven't seen anybody else do. Is I take a little piece of tubing. It's uh, the tubing you get for aquariums. I'll give you dimensions later. And you want to fit it real snug over the port. And once you do that, just fill up your your tubing and let it sit as long as it takes. And if you never see it move, just let it sit longer. It might take a couple days. It could take longer. Eventually, it's going to soften up the crud, and it's, it's going to open up your ports, and you'll be able to run your cleaning program. Now, a couple of times, I used my own homemade uh, uh, liquid for cleaning, and not a couple times, but one time I, I did it, and after I got my printer working again, the colors were very muddy for, for several weeks. I could only use it for printing black, and it was disappointing. But I kept printing, and eventually I got the colors back. But here's my point, is if you put your pieces of tubing over the print head ports, and you fill up the tubing with the syringe, and you monitor to see the level, to see if it's going down any, to know if it's working, let it sit there a couple days if it has to. You can often get a printer that is completely clogged back to working again. And these printers aren't cheap anymore. I used to be able to get Epson with a CIS uh, cartridge system under $100 a refurbish on eBay. Now they're over double that. So you, you know you, you want to save as much money as you can and, and not throw stuff out if you don't have to. So if you were going to give up and throw it out anyway, try it. Get you a little piece of tubing, put on there real snug, and fill up the tubing with your liquid. I'll give you a recipe. I'll make another video show you how to make your own liquid uh, uh, printed cleaner so you, you can save more money. And while we're at it, a lot of people have trouble their printer stop printing because their ink pads get clogged up. You, you can bypass your ink pads. You can put a little piece of tubing into your uh, your printer and this will just go to a waste container. This end over here. So let me see if we can get on the bottom. There you go. Can you see here? This is coming from the waste outlet, and it used to go over here to the tray that had the sponges that hold absorbed all of the ink. But instead, I just went out the back with the tubing into a receptacle. I don't have the receptacle here, but that's one way you can bypass your ink uh, waste discharge. So I hope this little tip helps, and I'll be making another video for a recipe on how to make your own inkjet cleaner. Like I said, don't throw stuff out just because it's not working. There's often ways you can fix it. And I try to add new videos every week and uh, stuff that you guys can save money on and have fun doing things out there in YouTube land. Take care, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching videos. Hope you come back. Watch more often.